Hi, I'm Mark Graham, engineering sales manager here at Gorilla Grills. Today I want to talk about our two pellet grills. We got the Silverback and we got the Gorilla. If you're not familiar with pellet grills, they're a great way to make great food and it's so incredibly easy, it's ridiculous. What you do is simply pour a bag of pellets in the grills, turn them on, they automatically feed the pellets in, lights the pellets for you, the software maintains the temperature while you go about your day, and man, they produce some great food. So, one of the questions we get asked all the time is, which grill should I get? The Gorilla or the Silverback? Well, let's start with the Gorilla. The Gorilla at $7.99, and again, this is $7.99 free shipping anywhere in the continental U.S., versus the Silverback at $7.49, free shipping anywhere in the continental U.S. So the software and the controls, exactly the same, minor tweaks, but basically operate identical. The hoppers, 20-pound hopper, 20-pound hopper. Pellet dump, yes, the Gorilla has it, yes, the Silverback has it. Burn pots, both stainless. Drip pan and heat diffusers, both stainless. Cooking grates, both quarter-inch stainless steel diameter. Very similar, as you can see. The construction, as we talked about in one of our other videos, they both have the thermal jacket, which is double wall construction underneath. So again, very similar there as well. Um, now, where we start getting into some of the differences is, I'll state the obvious, is the looks. This is a patented design. With the round shape, you get a different airflow in this grill than you do with a standard barrel with an exhaust like that. So with this one, two things. One. Normally when I check my food, I can just crack it open. I can check my food, close it, lose hardly any heat or any smoke. Also, the smoke kind of comes out evenly through both sides. It doesn't come up and then over and then out like you do with the Silverback. Second part, it's just cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's unique. Nobody else has it and there's something to be said for that. Along that same lines is the viewing window down here. When it's running, you can see the fire shooting through the Gorilla. Did it add costs? Yes. Is it cool? Heck yes. The Silverback, one of the obvious advantages is the cabinets underneath. Um, great place to store pellets, utensils. Keep your deck clean by throwing all that stuff underneath there. Um, so that's really a great feature. The other thing it has is a little more cooking space. This is right about 700, where the Gorilla is right about 500. So it has more surface area. I will show you just kind of an idea on space. I mean, I think one of the things that's pretty interesting, we have a lot of people that have come to our, our uh, showroom here, and as soon as they come in, they're just astonished at how big the gorilla actually is. The pictures and videos, as you all know, don't do justice. When they actually finally see it, they're pretty amazed. So I'm going to try to do something here. I'm going to take this and kind of set it in here. We had a guy do that on our, one of our owners group the other day and it really helped a customer kind of visualize the difference. So you can see that thing is pretty darn, it takes up almost the whole space. It's a big grill yet. So don't let this, this thing fool you at 500 square inches. You can put a lot of food in here. Also with both these grills, they have rack extensions. So you can actually add another piece up front here and you can add another one on top here. So you can get a lot of food in this thing. All right, so I went over some of the features on these grills and at the end of the day, I'm telling you, they're both going to produce fabulous food. You're going to love them. You're going to be the star in your backyard if you follow Shane Draper's recipes. So it really comes down to what's your style preference? You know, I don't know that. We don't know that. And what's your budget? So with those two things in mind, um, hopefully some of the information I gave you combined with that will help you make a sound decision. Again, check us out on Facebook. Check out the YouTube videos. Uh, call us. Call me. I'll, I'll be glad to talk with you if I can help iron out a few last questions you may have. Um, our customer service ladies in there, they're very knowledgeable as well. And uh, we'd love to help answer any last minute questions you got. So I'm Mark Graham, thanks for watching.